atmospheric flux. And with this net atmospheric flux, you can do a lot of things. We can say that, and I'm going to define these in the next lecture. And we're going to solve problems using this idea. I'm going to say that, OK, what if my emitting area is a diffuse emitter? A diffuse emitter is an emitter which emits the same in all directions, which means there is no directional dependency, which means that I can take this guy, I lambda comma e, out of the integrals containing d theta and d phi. It's going to be independent of directions. And once I do that, my integral is going to be much easier. And once I know the wavelength fraction, I can just plug that in, compare it with an ideal body, obtain my values, and integrate. Okay? So final moral of the story is that last portion there on the board. That's what we are interested in. Little epsilon, little alpha, capital EB, capital G. Epsilon and alpha come from experimental data, so that is where we are heading towards. Capital EB comes from Planck's theory of radiation. Capital G comes from Kirchhoff's laws. Put everything together, then we will be ready to solve the problem. Right? Thank you. And if you have questions, I'll be happy to take them.